After 20 years of exploring our universe, the Cassini spacecraft completed its mission with a fiery dive into Saturn's atmosphere. Scientists at CU Boulder helped design instruments on that probe. I'm Jamie Leary. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California sent the Cassini on its final mission. The probe transmitted until its thrusters failed. It sent its final bits of data to an antenna in Australia before it went silent. Scientists and others also watched in Boulder. Our Tori Mason is covering Colorado first. She has been in Boulder all morning long. Tori, this was a really bittersweet day. It is, Jamie. CU Boulder is the only university in the world to have built and designed instruments that have visited every planet in our solar system. When it disintegrated, it took along with it a $12 million spectrograph built by CU Lab with it. LASP team members had their eyes glued to NASA's live stream as they watched a 20-year mission come to an end. Cassini was running out of fuel, and NASA didn't want to risk it crashing into one of Saturn's moons. They decided to sacrifice Cassini for the good of the solar system. Cassini collected 600 gigabytes of data and completely transformed our understanding of the planets. For the science community, losing Cassini was like losing a team member. It's very emotional. So, you know, as like you said, Cassini was launched 20 years ago. The instrument that uh, CU last built was designed many years before that. So in a way, we've been working on this mission 25 years plus, and several scientists have been on this mission the entire time. But Cassini made the most of its final hours. Last night, it took its last photos of Titan and a close-up of Saturn's rings. If it's any consolation, scientists say Cassini's death was quick and with dignity. Reporting live in Boulder, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Thank you, Tori.